All right, YouTubers, what's going on, guys and gals? It's uh, Christmas Eve morning. Just chilling by the fireplace. Checking out my little E-words here. My grandson will be here uh, New Year's. These are his. But as you all know, we're going to be trying to get him to uh, start learning how to run the, the Hyper 7 with the LRP.32. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep this engine in there. Uh, I do know... No. I probably will switch the pipe for sure. But I think I'm going to take the LRP out. And we'll put the Max Star Hobal.28 uh, back in. This bad boy right here. This engine's barely been broke in. It's brand new. It's a pretty good engine, man. I, I very rarely ran this. I, I broke it in one of my first videos way, way back. This was my first uh, sealed backplate engine. Um, and I believe that I made it a sealed backplate. I think it came as a pull start. Uh, but we turned it into a sealed back plate. We had to change out the crank and everything. I don't remember exactly the specs on that. But, uh, or I might, I might have milled it myself. But this thing rips pretty damn good, man. So, I don't know. I'll probably put this back in, in it. Make it, uh, back to its original form with the, uh, power plant. Anyway. Brand new Novorossi Rex Legend right there. I may buy another one today. I'm not sure. Looking at the Virtus. They're about 300 and something dollars. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to run up to my local hobby shop today. Uh, if everything goes well, I think we'll be uh, bringing home a new platform. I'm not going to tell you all what it is. It's going to be a surprise, but um, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm going. Today is supposed to be a track day, but I may be dealing with this other thing first. I may be dealing with uh, picking up a new platform, so I don't know. Track day may have to be on uh, Thursday. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Techno NT48.4 with me. Uh, we're running a Novorossi four-shoe uh, clutch, all aluminum, with a 14-tooth Novorossi vented bell. Um, I'm glad I caught it. I checked the, uh, the universal. The little set screw had come loose, so I pulled it out, lined everything up, and uh, loctited it last night. So it should be good to go now. Um, running the 41001 with the works. Man, you know I can't see. I think it's a 2058 or a 2056 or a 2053. I don't know. Something like that. But this works pipe is really cool, man. It's very similar to the uh, Offna 086 or the Dynamite 086. It's a really good pipe. So that's what we're going to be rocking on the Novorossi P5. This is the original P5 that I've been working on, trying to get it dialed in. And we did pretty well. I think I need to adjust my idle just a little bit on the bottom end. Um, but I'm going to take it with me this morning. We'll see what happens. It's just i got to load everything up. So I want to show you all a couple of things that I got in the mail Uh I picked up a couple of more, two more uh, motor saver air filters with the uh, outerwares. The other ones that I had were pretty old, and uh, I'd been running them without the outerwear, but this time I got everything. So you got the filter, and you got the outerwear on here. It's about 40 something dollars for this whole setup, but it's, it's pretty worth it. It's well worth it. Alright, so what we got here is another 41032 header. This is for your modified uh, .28s and up. 41032. Part number is uh, 7261 9CE. 
Novorossi. And here is the Super Strong 9886, 51021, batch number 37719CE. Yeah, so uh, I already have this set up uh, right here. This is an Overossi 9886 Super Strong and the 41032 header right here. And this is the setup that we run on this Pico Modified .28 right here. This bad, bad girl right here. So um, I wanted to have an extra one. Um, and shout out to my subscriber that, uh, that did contact Novorossi. And, uh, so we're not sure about Novorossi Direct because they're listing that out of, uh, discontinued and they're only going to sell what's in their, their stock. But the other fella reached out to, um, Absolute and apparently they're getting a batch coming in. So there are going to still be some out there. Uh, I think they were going to discontinue across the board, you know, in the whole country. But with the outcry of our, our U.S. market, they uh, I think they're going to continue it here in the U.S. I think it's going to be discontinued overseas. I'm not sure. But um, as for now, we can still get the 9886s. I don't remember my sub's name, but he knows who he is. Thank you very much for researching that. Uh, and then I think there was another YouTuber out there a while back after I did the discontinuance video on the 9886 that had said something uh, really nicely about uh, the 9886 not being discontinued and uh, Absolute Hobbies getting a new batch in. So I think I heard that somewhere else after I did that video. I don't remember who it was. Probably, probably nobody, probably not, not anything. But shout out to the dude who, who, who researched it for me. You know who you are, and uh, we can still get them, guys. Ninety-eight, eighty-six, good to go. All right. So anyway, uh, got a new engine in. Uh, one of them. I've got a couple of them coming. This is the off-road S twenty-one P five XLT, uh, two thousand nineteen edition. It is the black crankcase. So it's just like this one, but it's a black crankcase. Let's take a look at it. It's brand new. Some Novorossi stickers. All right, guys. I'm not going to open it because we're not going to break this in yet. This may go in my new platform that I'm going to take a look at right now. Look at there. Piston, bottom dead center. Very nice. So I probably will open it up and shoot some uh, some of my after run in there, but P5, sweet, same exact thing, just a black crank, crank case. I think the black case looks a lot better too, to be honest with you. And it comes with a blue Venturi. This one had an orange Venturi, so I'm not sure what the blue Venturi is. It might be a six or something. Um, but anyway, guys, so nice P5. Hell, I might get this thing modified right here. Imagine a P5 modified, .21. P5 already has got a lot of bottom end grunt to it, man. It's a sweet, sweet engine right there. I, I, I got mad respect for that P5. All right, so let's see here. Put it up here in my engine collection. Come on. There we go. It's all my engines, guys. My LRPs, my Novorossis, all my dynamites, my OSs. All right, guys. So let's see what else we got going on. Oh, I got some more Novorossi clutches. Uh, Novorossi bell back there. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. So the guys that are running the... Low C 8T, the RTR, you can run a lifey pack. You can run this exact lifey pack right here, but you have to mill out the inside of this cover. And it's still going to be a really tight fit, but I did get it to fit. I've got both screws to, to connect and go down. 
but it's a really tight fit, especially when you got you just put a really thin layer of foam in the bottom for protection. But you can get it to fit. I did. You just mill these humps out right here on the inside. Just make sure you don't go all the way through. But I have another option for you right here. This is a Electron Pro. Uh, same thing, Lifey, 6.6 .6 volt. But this is a 2000 milliamp battery. Um, it's uh, about $31, $32. So it, it has 100 more milliamps than the Reedy. And it's smaller, guys. Look at it. It's a lot smaller than the Reedy Pack. So it will fit in the Losi box, uh, receiver, uh, battery receiver box, a lot easier. You're probably still going to have to mill it a little bit, but you can fit this one in a lot easier. Than, I, I had a hell of a time getting this thing to fit, man. But I did it without any danger or damage you just have to get a dremel and mill the underside of this where the little humps are and you can get this one to fix but this one is a lot smaller guys it's electron pro i've never used one before but it's a 2000 milliamp 5c life battery 6.6 .6 volt should fit just fine guys a lot better than than the uh than this one Put that in here getting my stuff ready for race day that's my spare one also guys i picked up four more of the reds ts3 ultra hot plugs i recommend those for the novorossi uh p5s uh it takes away that that ghost flame out that you get it could be running perfect perfect idle everything great and then bam stops running you know it's called a ghost flame so the P5, the little bit hotter plug, the ultra hot plug will will stop that from from flaming out on you. You got to have a good tune, but it'll 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 work. So getting everything ready, re-upped my bones brew. Got my first order in of 3010. Now we're gonna go to uh, 38 or 39 is gonna be my next order. Uh, should be getting it put in. Uh, probably friday morning i'll get get that order put in maybe today i don't know but uh other than that guys i'm not sure what else oh i did i did want to tell y'all one more thing and remember guys these uh i'm not running it on here going to the track today but these motor saver filters will fit underneath the body of the uh techno it, i don't know about the actual techno body but this is the silencer J Concepts body. The, the filter will fit under here easily. So you can run your motor savers under your J Concepts Techno uh, buggy bodies. Alright, so I wanted to show you all this. Those of you that have the dynamite box and you try to find a, a new wheel for this box. You're not going to find a dynamite branded uh, wheel. But the low C starter wheel, the uh, starter box wheel will fit. It's the exact same wheel for the dynamite box. So uh, part number is LOSA nine uh, nine nine four two one. It's the exact same wheel, uh, the low C box wheel and the dynamite box wheel exactly the same. And you can find these low C wheels everywhere, man. I got several wheels here. Because we know how terrible I am at tearing up wheels. Yeah, when you're a newbie. Yes, I was a newbie too. And I tore up a lot of wheels, guys. It just takes getting used to. Now I can get it on there and fire it right up. Got this one ready to go to the track. My uh, Reaction Dynamite 5000 milliamp 50C LiPo. LiPoly battery. This thing will bump this thing for a week. I got new wheels in all my boxes. This one has a new motor. If y'all remember, we burned that one motor out just from being new, from being a rookie, man. We all have to learn. We all have to learn how to use this equipment and, and, and dial our, our whips in. And, you know, uh, these, these are extremely high revving engines right here. They're, they're 30,000, 
40,000 RPMs. I don't know the exact on them, probably somewhere in between there. But you can learn to tune these guys. You have to find the balance of your low speed for your idle in between your low speed needle and your idle bump stop screw. You have to find that, that mixture between the two. But dial in your high speed first. Do your high speed passes. Get it nice and clean and crisp. And then dial in your low speed. Um, that's the way I do it anyway. I, I, I watch. I studied Still for Life's video. The one that, that I uh, put up on the screen. I studied that guy's video. And with talking to uh, the Nitro Nerd a little bit. Even that video is. He's not doing that great in that video. So, but it's a start. It's somewhere where you can start to learn the, the general procedure that he's teaching us is the correct procedure. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully the nerd will come out with some, some new video footages and some things for us to check out as far as tuning goes that would help all of us newbies in, in, in the hobby, man. Um, I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope that it does... Uh, transpire that way so um that's the word that i get is there's possibly going to be some collaborations and some some uh uh new tuning videos from the nitro nerd so i hope that that happens if not i understand you know the, there's a lot of things that go on and not everybody knows what's going on so people just assume and and you know talk talk their crap and stuff but you don't always know what's going on with someone personally behind the scenes so i am uh i'm excited i hope that he can pull it off i'd love to see some some new uh video footage from the nerd um but anyway shout out nitro nerd you're badass man i appreciate everything that you've put up there for us to learn uh, still for life if you're out there anywhere man i appreciate you without your videos without average joe nitro uh if you go back and watch some of joe nitro's videos uh botagel's got a good video when he's tuning marky d's uh I think it's his dynamite or something like that. That's a pretty good dialed in. But he really doesn't get in there and show you, you know, what he's doing. That's the whole thing, man. The newbies, we, we need to see exactly what's being turned, exactly when and how it needs to be explained. So I've tried to do a few videos like that, but I get caught up in the moment and I don't always follow through with it. So... Um, we'll see what we can do here in the future. I, I think, not to toot my own horn, but I think that I've learned to tune a nitro engine pretty well. Uh, but obviously, like anything else in the hobby, I'm going to keep working at it and keep trying to get better and better and better. So, um, other than that, guys, I have been using, uh, this is what I'm going to use to break in that new P5. I don't know when I'm going to do it. It's Master Bash here, 1420. Just the extra oil in there to, uh, to help get it situated. Uh, I found this at, at here at a customer's house in the garage, man. He said I could have it. I think it's an airplane or an air uh, Futaba radio receiver. So I'm going to take it to my, my brother Elliot up at uh, RCHQ today and put that in my pocket. So um, I think that's about it, guys. Just want to tell you all about the battery, the new Lifey battery that I found. Uh, the Losi starter wheel, uh, the 8T is like completely disassembled. I've already gone through all the diffs. Um, I got a uh, new front hinge pin holders, the LOSA1754 adjustable aluminum front hinge pin braces right here. Expensive, 47 bucks, guys. Uh, got the new shock towers. Um, I threw the other ones away. Let's see if I can pull them out of there. Look, looky there. Look what's in the trash. <laughs> no, I used it all. Um, oh, man. Oh, there we go. Dig it in the trash, guys. Alright, check it out. This is the old front tower. It's crazy, man. And the hinge pin holder was bent and the hinge pin was actually snapped in half 
That's nuts, man. Bent the hell out of that thing. But anyway, guys, so I got new uh, shock towers. They're not the TLR ones. I think they're knockoff ones, but they're good. They're six millimeters thick. It was 40 bucks for the set. So we're going to try these, see how they work, see how durable they are. Uh, if not, we'll order the other ones. But they match up pretty good, you know, as far as the aluminum. So we'll try these. I, I checked all the holes. Everything lines up. Everything's right. So we'll do that. I got new uh, front A-arms. Put new bearings in the A-arms because this one was broke where that where the hinge pin holder broke and, and turned. This is your 3.0 differential front diff with the lightened uh, diff cups. I've gone through all of my diffs already. Again, uh, we're sticking with uh, 50... 50 and 100 um, Also got I had to get new hinge pin holders. So I got the uh, M2C uh, Hardened low C four millimeter Hinge pin holders. They're for the 4.0 um, Oh, also I ordered a set of rear mud guards Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. I wanted to show you guys uh, you guys that have the the 8T I ordered these mud guards. There they are. They're DE Racing mud guards for the TLR 8T 2.0, 8T 3.0. They're less than eight bucks. They're really cool. Uh, they are from DE Racing, and I like them, man, because they go all the way across. They the coverage on them is extreme. Check it out, how it goes up to cover the the uh, turnbuckle here, and it goes all the way down the arm. It's on the outside here, and then it goes over and connects to the inside. So I thought those were really cool, man. I've got a set coming. It's in set here. It kind of turns right here and flows with the body, I mean with the uh, A arm, so right here. So I ordered a set of those to check them out, see what's up. Um, and they have them for other vehicles, the RC8T, uh, D8T, I'm not sure what that one is. Um, but we could probably get them for other vehicles as well. Zero reviews. I think they're pretty nice though. I'm gonna give them a shot. All right, guys. So let me uh, let's see what's going on YouTube real quick before I get out of here. So we're gonna head over to the track, guys. Uh, I may run, I may not. So don't get your hopes up, but uh. Rajah's got something new out. Came out an hour ago. Y'all check out Rajah. Oh, snap. Rajah's got some shirts. Well, Mr. Rajah, I'll send you an email or I'll give you a call, brother, because I'm rocking the Foundry shirt right now. So you know I got to get a Rajah 111 shirt. <laughs> I haven't even opened the video. So I'm hoping that that's you, brother. Uh, T-Max Tony, man. T-Max Tony. <laughs> Oh man, the hybrid thirty two four nine four. He's he's got a great channel. You guys go check check him out, man. Hybrid. He's always commenting on my stuff, but he does a T Max Tony thing. It's pretty funny. So let's see what else. Let's see if the muggy's got anything out. Nope. Just a stupid message to all the muggy haters. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> anyway, not not doing all that, guys. Uh, let's see what Drew's got up. Drew got any new stuff? Hey, Drew, man, you really my brother, bro. I don't know about that right there, but I want to see these modding videos. I want to see what you do on, on the modding. So 
put, show us some stuff, Drew. We want to see some videos from you, brother. Uh, you're still my brother for life, man. I remember in the very beginning, Drew, you helped me out more than anybody, man. Shout out to Drew's Nitro Shop, even though he dissed me in that video. I didn't agree with a lot he said, but um, Drew's a, a very knowledgeable guy. And uh, you'd, be, you'd be a fool, and I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, say that and watch him. So, anyway, when I get back, we'll watch some of this Raja. So, anyway, guys, that's the, the 8T. We're going to get it back together. So much work to do here in the Nitro Bar, man. Sometimes I think it's easier just to have one whip, man. Uh, a buggy and a truggy and nothing else. But here I am going to see about bringing home a new platform. I'm not going to tell you all what it is. But, Elliot, if you see this, I'm on my way. I hope it's still there. I want to check it out. And, uh... Shout out Gary, Foundry RC guys. Uh, go check out his channel. It's one of Botagel's brothers, one of my brothers. So shout out, and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll get a video. I'm going to try to get on the track. I'm going to load everything up, but we'll see if I get into this other thing. I might be a little too excited. I've still got some Christmas shopping to do, but it's freaking cold, man. And I got shorts on. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes, man. I'm out. Hi right, YouTube, what's going on? So, uh, just continuing, shit's on. Continuing the video from earlier. Um, I went to RCHQ. I went out to the track. The track didn't look that great, and I just was not feeling it, man. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a basher at heart. I mean, I could get out there and race and and run my stuff. Maybe I'm just not ready for it, man. But I don't think I'm going to be running on the track right now. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do it at all. Uh, I know I kind of back and forth on it, man. But, man, I really love bashing. It gets boring at times. But, you know, it's just I like to, to thicken up the diffs, man. Put, put the modified Pico in there or the Rex Legend. Or throw a .32 in a buggy. I'm still going to keep one of my buggies as a race buggy. Maybe the, uh, the Mugen MBX-5. And guys, I went and looked at this MBX-8. And, man, my brother Elliot, he kind of talked me out of it. Probably could have picked it up for $150. Bucks. Platform was clean. Um, you know, it's... But he's right. Why, why do I need three buggy race kits why do i need three of them i've got my techno uh buggy i've got my techno truggy i got the mbx5 i got you know i got everything i need i've got plenty of engines 21s uh 28s 32s modified stock pipes i got everything i want man i'm just not sure if i want to go racing it just i started to go out there and and, and get going on it but i'm by myself you know the vehicle flips if i'm gonna go out there i need somebody that's gonna help me man uh there was a guy that i met there in the uh, hobby shop today man shout out to you i don't remember your number but uh anyway i'll get back to y'all in a couple minutes all right i'm at the teller i'll be back all right guys but anyway i'm just i need someone to help me when i'm at the track i think you know not just go by myself and i'm still interested in it but it's not I don't know I'm not as fired up as as I was before about it and I got these two race kits that I got dialed in specific for freaking racing I don't know I may turn my techno into a basher my MB 48.4 I don't know guys I think I just love bashing jumping that kind of stuff man pegging it I don't know man I thought maybe that's something I wanted to do and I still might but you know, right now, I'm going to go home and set up my truggy for bashing. Just get the Pico in there, and we're going to go rip out at the bash site. How's that? So, I'm headed home, man. It's freaking crazy out here, people. It's Christmas Eve. People are nuts. Uh, I bought a new... I installed a new surveillance system at my house. Eight cameras. So, I went and bought a 32-inch uh, TV and a bracket to hang it with in my bedroom so I can always have my my cameras up and rolling 
Uh, it's a good system. Got it on Amazon for 190 bucks, uh, and came. You can order a free hard drive. You have to install a hard drive in order to record. So right now it's just just cameras, but we got the hard drive on the way. So I want to install this TV. So I've constantly got the the cameras rolling in my bedroom, and um, bought some other stuff. I bought an, uh, some antenna caps here. Uh, I'm running always need those and I brought another one of the electron pro batteries here uh, 3099 they will fit in the low C 8t's guys right here All right, and it's a lifey not a lipo so let me get home guys and uh, I'll do another video after a while. I'm gonna cut this video right here. I apologize man I've been out doing some shopping had to buy some shoes um, I don't know I'm a basher at heart, guys. What do y'all think? Y'all tell me what you want to see me do, man. Right now, I'm going to go home and set up the truggy, and we're going to go ripping in a little while. So, we'll hit up another another video after a while. I'm going to go ahead and upload this one. So, shout out my brother, Foundry, RC, Gary. And, uh, God, people are so freaking impatient, too, man. Nobody will freaking let you out when you want to get out. They just cut you off. Nobody has any patience anymore, man. Nobody cares about the other person anymore. And that's what's so sad in this society is there's no love, man. It's all about me, 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 me. Just like some other people I know out there on their video channels. But shout out, Elliot, man. I appreciate you leading me in the right direction. And I will get out on the track. I'm just not into it right now, guys. I'm going to go fly my techno. How about that? Let's get it. You ain't gonna get out unless you go. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit, man. Remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. I'm gonna get my ass home and out of this, this traffic and all these people. So, we'll see you guys in a little while. I'm out.